This is the perpendicular bisector construction, but first we need to talk about a couple of vocabulary words. First, obviously, is perpendicular. Perpendicular are lines that meet at 90 degrees. Actually, lines that intersect at 90 degrees. The symbol looks like this little upside down T and that stands for perpendicular. A lot of the time you'll see some lines that intersect like this and they'll put a little box in the corner. That means that they are perpendicular. We also need to talk about the word bisect which means to cut in half. It creates two congruent pieces. That's the symbol for congruent. So if we're talking about a segment and we bisect it and cut it in half, then we end up with a midpoint right here in the middle and two pieces that are the same as each other, this piece and that piece. And those little straight line marks, those are the marks for um, congruent pieces. And based on that last one, the midpoint is literally the point in the middle of a segment. And you can see it over there in that picture, just right in the middle. Um, sometimes this perpendicular bisector construction is called a midpoint construction because you're, you can also just look for the midpoint. I'll show you about how to do that in a second. These are the instructions. You can read those on your own. I will show you how to do it here. So to do a perpendicular bisector, you kind of have to eyeball where the midpoint is going to be. It's going to be somewhere around here. So you want to make sure that when you open your compass, you're opening it somewhere in here beyond the midpoint. So I'm going to put the spinner on one end point and make sure that one of the holes is beyond the midpoint. So that's beyond the midpoint there. And you're just going to bring your compass up and draw a big arc up and down. Just want to make sure you go far enough. You don't need to take your compass and go back and forth like this. That's going to mess it up. So make sure you just kind of make one nice arc when you can. And then you're going to take your compass and turn it so that you put the spinner on the other end point. Don't change the radius and make an arc again. Where the arcs intersect creates points. You don't have to put the points there, but if it helps you, go ahead. And then to make the perpendicular bisector, you're going to line up your ruler part of your compass and draw a line. This line right here is the perpendicular bisector. If the direction said just draw the midpoint instead of drawing the line, you would put your compass or your ruler there, line up the point, and then put a dot for the midpoint. That's the midpoint. You don't have to do both. It just will depend on what the construct or what the instructions say. Okay, I'll show you a couple more. This is a small line segment, but nothing changes. You just need to kind of eyeball about where you think the midpoint's going to be. Put your compass on the end point and open the slider so it's more than the midpoint. Lift it up and make an arc. Put it on the other end point. Without changing the radius, make an arc. And then you're going to line up those two points and draw your bisector in there. If you need more time, if I'm going too fast, just pause the video after each step and do it that way. For example three, you just need to read carefully. This one says that we want to make a perpendicular bisector for AC. I like to highlight what I'm focusing on because otherwise I am tempted to do other things. Constructions like this end up looking messy because it goes over other stuff in the picture, but that's really not a big deal. So we're going to put the compass on A open it more than halfway, bring it up and make an arc, put it on the other end point C, 
bring it up and put it on and draw your arc. Yeah, I slipped a little there, so it's going to be a little bit off, but that's okay. Line it up and draw your bisector. You can even put the little square there if you want to, to make sure that you know that that is perpendicular. Also, just want to go back to this. I knew that we were using segment AC because in the instructions it said AC. The last one I will go through again just in case you need another round, but you should try this one on your own. So I would pause the video before you watch it so that you can see if you do it right and then check yourself with mine. Put your spinner on one of the endpoints, open more than halfway, draw an arc. Go to the other end point, open more than halfway, oops, and then connect. All right, and I drew, I made this paper purposefully so when you're finished, you can turn it over, fold it so you can see the title of the construction, the vocabulary words, and a picture of the construction that will help you when you're trying to refer back to it when you're studying. All right, the end.